Hello and welcome to the next video in my series on basic statistics. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, great to have you back. Now at the end of the video, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, or share it with someone else you think might benefit from watching it. Let's go ahead and get started. So this video is the next in our series on basic descriptive statistics. In this case, summarizing data for a quantitative variable using stem and leaf displays. You don't see these used very often, but I think they can be very beneficial if you have it available because it gives you a couple of different advantages over just having say a histogram or something else like that. So let's go ahead and explore stem and leaf displays. Now this video is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus. You're here on this channel because you wanna learn something. And there are a few better places to learn as much as you want than The Great Courses Plus. Now there's information in the description below for viewers of my channel. So go ahead and click on that and check out The Great Courses Plus. So what are stem and leaf displays? So a stem and leaf display shows the rank order of your data. So what order the data comes in. It also shows the shape of the distribution of your data. And it can also show what I call modal qualities of the data, which are observations that occur frequently. And you'll see what I mean by that here in a minute or two. Now it's called a stem and leaf display because that is what it looks like. It looks like a stem going vertically with leaves off of the side. It takes the form of having a stem and then sort of a bar or a pipe and then the leaf off to the side, always to the right. And the leaf is always the last single digit. Okay, and I put an asterisk there because there is one exception to that rule, but the leaf is always the last digit of your quantitative data. Now the stem is formed from all digits to the left of that last digit. Now this is a lot of definitional words, but once we make a few of them, you'll get what we mean by what a stem and leaf are and how it's formed. Let's go ahead and do that. So first, let's do a very small example. So here is some quantitative data I made up. So 50, 61, 66, etc. So first, we'll create a vertical line which will separate our stem from our leaves that are over on the right. Let's go ahead and look at what we will do with the 50, the first quantitative value. So in this case, the zero will be the first number of our leaf, and then the five will go in the stem. So you can see how we do this. So we have the quantitative value of 50, the five goes in the stem, and the zero goes in the leaves. Now what about the 61 and the 66? So here we have two values that are in the 60s. So we have the one from 61 and the six from 66 that go with the stem value of six. Okay, we can keep going. So over here, we have leaves. And over here, we have the stem. So we can create the data in reverse. So we have a zero and a five, that's 50. Then we have one and six in the stem, that's 61. We have a six in the leaf and a six in the stem, that's 66. So we can actually recreate the entire data set from the stem and leaf. Now we can go ahead and fill everything out. So our next number is 73. So the seven is in our stem, the three is in our leaves. Now we have 82 and 82. So here we have the eight and then two and two. 90 is nine and zero. Now we have three digits, but remember in the leaves is always the last digit. So now our stem is 10. So 103 is 10 in the stem and three in the leaf. And then we have 10 again, and then eight in the leaf for the number 108. Then the same thing for 115, 11 in the stem and five in the leaf. So you can see here that it's very straightforward. We just have the last digit over here in the leaves, and then we have the digits before that over here in the stem. And actually, we can actually recreate the entire data set from just this stem and leaf display. Now notice they're also in order. So everything is in order, 50, 61, 66, 73. You could read down the stem and leaf and recreate the entire data set in order. Now over here on the left, I put them in order just for the sake of convenience. But your data is probably not gonna be in ascending order, but your stem and leaf will be once it's all created. So we've been using this example in the first few videos of this series. 
So here is our smartphone user data and their ages. Okay, so we have 100 people in our sample, and this is the age of each person that answered our survey. So what we're gonna do is look at a stem and leaf of this data. So here's what that looks like. And in this case, I used SPSS. Doesn't matter what you use. You can use Minitab, you could use something else, you could probably use Excel to create a stem and leaf, but usually stats, software packages are much better at doing these than say Excel. Excel does not have a built-in stem and leaf functionality. So let's go ahead and look at what we have. Let's look at the first line. So what it's saying is we have three observations in our first line of the stem and leaf display. Now look, we have a stem value of one and leaf values of eight, eight, and eight. Now what does that mean? Well, remember if we reassemble it, that means we have three 18 year olds in our sample. So we have one and an eight, that's an 18 year old. Then we have the second eight that goes with the one and a third eight that goes with the one. So we have three 18 year olds in our sample. Now look at the second one. Okay, it's saying, okay, we have 21 observations or people that are in their 20s. So we can reconstruct that. We have a 20 year old, a 20 year old, a 21, 21, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 23, 25, 25, 25, et cetera. I'm not gonna go through all of them. So you can see how you can actually reconstruct the data in an ordinal fashion. In this case, you can also see their frequencies. Now below we have stem width and each leaf, and that's just something that SPSS puts out when it does the actual uh, graph. Now the thing is, if we go ahead and put bars over our leaves, what do we have? Well, basically, we have a sideways histogram, right? Because what we're doing is counting the frequency of observations in each bin or in each width. So if we turn these bars in the stem and leaf, you know, 90 degrees to the left, what we essentially have is a histogram. So the stem and leaf is also very good at showing you the shape of your data. It's basically a histogram tipped on its side. Now it also shows each individual value and it also shows modal qualities. So what I mean by that is you can look at your stem and leaf display and see where you have a lot of people, in this case, that are the same age. So let's pick one out. Um, it looks like we have a lot of 41 year olds. So if we look here at the stem of four, we have one, two, three, four, five 41 year olds. And the great thing about the stem and leaf is you can see that very easily. Whereas in a histogram, you cannot. So it does have that benefit as far as seeing modal qualities or high frequency observations in your data. So here's the histogram of that over here on the right in the blue. And here are the bars from the stem and leaf that I turned on its side. The only difference between the two is that the stem and leaf includes the 18 year olds in their own component over here on the lower left. And I think we have a 71 year old as well. But overall, you can see that the general shape is exactly the same. So we're gonna have a high bar, a low bar, two high ones, and then a lower one. And that is, again, the bars on the left, the pink ones, are the stem and leaf rectangles turned on their side. And this is the actual histogram um, created in another program over here on the right. So now let's talk about stretched stem and leaf displays. Again, using our smartphone ages. Now the thing here is this is the same thing as taking a histogram and say, instead of having bin woods that are 10 years, narrowing that to say five years, same basic idea. So here is a stretched stem and leaf display. So here you can see that the first one is the same. So we have three 18 year olds, but now when we go into the 20 year olds, it is split in two. So we have 10 people that are in the first group, their lower twenties, and we have 11 people that are in the second group in their upper twenties. So we've split each 10 year group into five year groups. So all we're doing for a stretched stem and leaf display is that when a stem value is repeated, the first value is for leaves of zero through four, and the second stem value is for leaves five through nine. So if you look at people in their 30s, you can see that we have a 30 year old all the way up to a 34 year old, and then in the next time we have the stem of three, we have 35 year olds up to 39 year olds. So a stretched stem and leaf just means we take the stem and divide it in two. The first part goes from zero to four. The second goes from five to nine. That's all that means. 
Now, what about larger values for stem and leaf? So a stem and leaf display can be used for larger numbers. So in this case, we've only, we've only used numbers that were two and three digits long. The leaf in a stem and leaf display is always one digit. So a number like 2,384 would be represented as having a stem of 23 and a leaf of eight. Now you're probably saying, well, what does that mean? What happened to the four? Now this would create an approximate value of 2,380. So the four would be lost. And that is one of the drawbacks of using stem and leaf displays for values that are larger than three digits. But the distribution could still be useful and actually helpful if you're only looking for a general shape, okay? Just because 2,384 it's changed to approximate value of 2,380. If you go ahead and look at that stem and leaf, you're still gonna get the same basic shape of the underlying data regardless. So it can be done. This video is brought to you by The Great Courses Plus, where you can get unlimited access to over 8,000 different video lectures taught by award-winning professors from the Ivy League and other top schools around the world. You can learn about anything that interests you, science, literature, and yes, statistics, like this lecture from Professor Michael Starbird called Data and Distributions, Getting the Picture, from his course, Meaning from Data, Statistics Made Clear. And right now, The Great Courses Plus is offering my viewers a free trial. So go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Brandon Foltz to have access to the 8,000 video lecture library or click the link in the description below. Okay, so that wraps up this video about descriptive statistics, specifically about how to summarize quantitative data using stem and leaf displays. And I think they have three advantages. One, a stem and leaf display is essentially a sideways histogram. So you can see the shape of your data. Two, it gives you your data in an ordinal fashion. So you can see your data in ascending order and you could theoretically reconstruct your entire data set from just the stem and leaf display. And thirdly, it can show you modal qualities of your data. So you can see individual values that are very frequent just by looking at the stem and then the leaf for that bin or that group of numbers. So thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.